Okay, hi, my name's Kenzo. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah. Hi, my name's Kenzo. Hi, I'm Mako. And this is Love Life Drawing. Today, we are gonna talk about anatomy books. So it's how we use anatomy books and we're gonna review some anatomy books. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think this book is uh, still popular among art students. Um, one reason is a very affordable price. You can get about three pounds or five pounds from Amazon. Really? I think so, yeah. It's pretty big. Uh, but the um, early part is not so useful because it shows each bone and uh, separately from other part. Yeah. And, uh, um, with the Latin names and uh, I, I never it's find boring, it? those things useful. But the later part, um, actual um, f drawing by the author, um, his drawing style is a bit stuffy and old fashioned. But on the other hand, um, helpful, kind of a more knowledge oriented drawing. I mean, if you a bit skint. If you don't have any money. <laughs> yeah. uh, this book is a fantastic value for money, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I can't say this is the best book available. Yeah, but it might be the cheapest. Cheapest and useful. The next book we're going to do is this one. It's a very popular one, right? And so it's you, a beautiful book, isn't it? It's a very nice book. It's almost like a coffee table book. Yeah. You know, some books are designed to be beautiful and laid on a yeah. coffee table, and this might be one like that. So one thing that kind of... There's a few things that define this book. One is the photography. They've got, you know, it's very amazing. beautiful photography. Mm. So quite nice poses. Very detailed. Yeah, I wouldn't say that the figures are kind of representative of humanity. So you don't have like a nice range of different, you know, older people or people of different sizes and things, but very nice sets of photos. And one of the reasons that I like this book is because uh, sometimes you want to do some drawings from reference and you don't want to be staring at a computer screen. So then it's good to have a book yeah. with loads of photos in it and they're quite nice to draw, right? And then the other thing that's quite cool is, you know, let's say you have a photo uh, and you want to understand what's happening on the inside. They have some of these kind of see-through overlays so you can see how the mm -hmm. spine connects to the pelvis. So that's quite useful for being able to like yeah. understand what's happening in the figure. Right? The, the lady that made this has put some of her drawings in. That's a lovely And drawing. I think they're really good, interesting drawings, um, kind of contour drawings. Um, yeah, they're with, very linear drawings. Yeah, they're and she's put some of her own imagination in it, and you can use, see how she's used her knowledge of anatomy to create mm -hmm. not just kind of academic and stifled artwork, yeah. but quite interesting artwork. Yeah. So that is good too book doesn't have quite the practical diagrams mm. that help an artist understand what they're seeing in a figure yeah. that some of the other ones do. Because some of the other ones are like, you know, how different parts connect to each other in simplified diagrams, mm. really simplified. And this book doesn't quite contain that. Mm. And also tips about actual drawing. It's a little, uh. bit, a little bit less specific and practical. So this book is very beautiful. I like the artwork, I like the photos, and it's quite a nice book to have. But I do think there are more practical anatomy books out there yeah. if you want to just study. Uh, this book is a very old book. Actually, I bought this when I was very young. <laughs> it's not comprehensive. Um, angles etc it's very limited but still it gives a, a good yeah um idea of um human body and its function and uh it's got quite just 
simple and practical diagrams. Yeah, right? according to diagram is a really good. And I think you can get about five pounds in Amazon. Okay, most is yours actually, isn't it? You gave it to me, lent it to me. No, you steal from me. <laughs> this is my favorite anatomy book. I don't know about you. I think this is a wonderful book. So it's not really a coffee table book. It's not a beautiful, I mean, it's a nice looking book, but it's not beautiful like the other one. It doesn't have any photos in it. Okay. But to be honest, you don't really need photos in an anatomy book of a, per of an, you know, a person because there's tons of photos on Crocky Cafe and stuff like that. I like having the photos because then you can draw at home without having to look on a computer. Yeah. But this is really all about learning to draw using anatomical knowledge. And that's why I like it. That's why I want to look at an anatomy book for that purpose, mm -hmm. right? So it's useful diagrams. I think that the most important thing about an anatomy book is the diagrams yeah right like knowing the text describing the f anatomy is kind of useful but this is such a visual thing and you need really clear useful diagrams yeah. that you look at it and you kind of understand what's happening that's what i think is the most useful thing in an anatomy book yeah. and this one has diagrams and supporting text all based around helping you learn to draw a figure. Yeah, I think her text is also very Her text good, is also that? good and to be honest it's that some of these books the text you can just ignore because it's like super academic and you feel bored reading it or it's so really vague you know some of these books. This one is down to earth and specific. It does use a lot of these Latin names which I don't think, you know, you need to really bother that much about. It's up to you. If you want to learn them, then, then go for it, you know. Uh, but I don't think you really need that. But apart from that, it's got really, really useful diagrams, right? And so these are diagrams designed not to help you get like a medical knowledge of anatomy, but they're designed to help an artist learn to draw yeah. using anatomy. And so this is, I think, of these five, which are the who, only... Who is also? This is Valerie Winslow. Of these five, this is the most kind of useful one yeah. for me, you know? No, but I, I know that you really like the next one as well. Actually, this book has been given by publisher. Yeah. Um, so thank you for them. And yeah, but uh, that's not going to affect no. what we say about it at all. Uh, first thing, probably bit over feel or make you feel overwhelmed with the sheer volume it's a very heavy book right it's an intimidating book and this one the te text i must say it's very very stiff uh, hard academic once i realized that i don't read the text at all but yeah. just the, this diagram it's fantastic i find the feel of the text is a little bit kind of elitist, I thought. You know, he's saying that Loomis is no good, but saying it's too, too basic, too simplified, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But Loomis is amazing, you know, we're not talking about Loomis here because Loomis is not really an anatomy book, but we love the Loomis books. So, but then... Yeah, he's a great instructor. Yeah, Loomis is fantastic. So then I was, you know, uh, gave me a bad feeling until I just realized, okay, don't read the text, just look at the diagrams. The diagrams are fantastic in this book. Maybe some of the best and most useful diagrams in any of these books. Yeah? This diagram just make you feel how torso is inserted yeah. into um, cradle like uh, pelvis. And that's, um, that is really cool. That knowledge is a, it's very useful for artists, I think. This is, you know, anatomical diagrams, not designed to help you memorize the anatomy like you're going to be a doctor, but designed to help you see the figure better. Yeah. And imagine how things are slotting together. Yeah. And it's got th other stuff too, like the stuff that you don't normally find in an anatomy book. 
So it's got other diagrams, things like where are the fat deposits likely to be. A lot of anatomy books are just focused on bones and muscles mm -hmm. and not really on things like fat and stuff like that or how uh, the muscles are used and change when people are doing different things like lifting objects and stuff. Whereas these diagrams go into all of that, which is really interesting. Yeah, yeah. I really think this book is a I mean, expensive, but the good, good yeah. to have. So when you're doing your drawings, like you got some up here, when you're doing these drawings... I didn't. You didn't use, <laughs> you didn't use any anatomy books? No. Did you use any anatomy knowledge? For drawing? Yeah. Oh, uh, I don't think for those that I didn't... I, I don't think I used any of them. I just drew like a landscape and that. So you just observed the model, because yeah. these are from li these are life drawing classes yeah. with a model. You just used your eyes, you saw and you drew. Uh, I think everyone would agree that if you're drawing from imagination and you want the figure to look lifelike, like a p human being, you n the more, more anatomy is useful yeah. from imagination. Yeah. But it's when you're observing a figure, some people say you need loads of anatomy knowledge and some people say you don't need any. Mm. So it's up to artists and other teachers, but uh, I think we, we think uh, we need anatomical knowledge in moderation. Is that right? I think <laughs> everyone needs to know the base. I don't think you need to know all the names and stuff. I don't think you need to know no. tons of details, like little bones and everything. But you do need to have an understanding of some of the big shapes. Yeah. Right? And so... Uh, you want to know about the rib cage shape. You don't need to know the real rib cage shape, but just the big mass of the rib cage, yeah. that kind of stuff. And then the other time that you told me to use an anatomy book is if I'm struggling with a specific part of the body, mm -hmm. like my the lower legs that I was drawing just didn't look good. They just were really basic, kind of not really lifelike. So then do some studies. Yeah, my, my case it's, um, has been shoulder on the neck area. So the, 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 that kind of occasion, and, and after class I referred the anatomy book, and, and mm -hmm. that's, a, um, that's a great way to use anatomy book. That kind of area is like, um, I mean, you are exploring unknown place, so you need yeah. a map. And uh, anatomy book give you a good, good solid map, I yeah. think. So if you're drawing from references or from life, life drawing classes, you know, the amount of anatomy you know is up to you, but you should have the basics and then you can have an anatomy book to refer to mm -hmm. when you're really struggling with like the shoulder or struggling with the foot. You can do some studies from your anatomy book mm -hmm. just to help you with that part. But if you're drawing from imagination, it's worth getting more deep into anatomy. Yeah. yeah. You can study diagrams in an anatomy book, like draw them, copy them, really get to know them. Mm. And that helps to train your eyes mm. to see that in any model, to see that part of the figure in any model, yeah. to understand the curves you're seeing a little bit better, right? So even if you don't memorize every, you know, all the names of every, all the, uh, every part of the, arm or whatever you're studying, mm. by copying it, you start to get this intuitive sense mm. of that part of the body, and then you can start to see it better, observe it better. We go through the books we happen to have, but that's no mean comprehensive. There are many books we never seen, and uh, so yeah. we don't say these books are best. Let us know what you think about these books or any other books that you have. Uh, pros and cons and stuff in the comments below and thank you so much for watching. Thank you Okay, hi, my name is Kenzo I'm Mako <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so nervous? <laughs>